Welcome back everyone to another layer 2 video. Today we're going to be farming the best layer 2 farming route on the God Slayer PvE build 2.0. I've been waiting to farm this route as it's so powerful that we're getting a chest every 40 seconds and we're already using the best PvE build in the game. This route is incredibly useful for getting powerful items, enchants and legendary weapons. You just have to follow the path that I take in this video. Oh yeah, and speaking about legendary weapons, we are about to hit 500 subscribers. In celebration of this, we are going to be giving away tons of extremely good legendary weapons on our new Discord server. Plus, you can access any of the PvE or PvP builds that have been showcased on this channel there. The only condition is that you have to be subscribed. But don't worry, because there's going to be tons of giveaways and advice that we'll be giving you. Anyways, let's shred Bone Keeper. I'll show you just how strong this build can be. And already posture broken. And just like that, we killed a 10,000 HP mob. Yeah, this build is pretty strong. Now we'll glacial your up over here, and we're going to go turn on Jen. Now, while I go over to Village and head over to Chaser, let me actually tell you what we're giving away specifically. We're giving away two enchant bundles, a three star pen blood flare, one star pen gran, two star weight deep crusher, two star pen LFT, a one star pen rail blade, a stone heart, and a three star pen Evan spear. Yeah, we are not cheaping out on the items we are giving away. I've managed to grind out this route so much that I'm comfortable giving away all these items to you. These are all separate giveaways by the way, so there's a very high chance that you're going to win something. Anyways, let's quickly shred this founder. And yup, easy bound to kill. So yeah, don't worry about me not giving away any more legendary items in the future, as I have a ton of stuff that I'm ready to give away to you guys. Layer 2 is just so insanely good to farm. Plus, as you can see from the route I'm taking, it's incredibly easy to do as well. Let's check the chest, alright, yeah, nothing good. Sometimes you do go through a lot of RNG bad spots, but sometimes you can get insanely lucky like I have in the past. I mean, just this week alone, I've dropped a Moon's Eye Tome and Sinner's Ash from Chaser, which is pretty crazy. Although, speaking of rare drops, I've actually never seen anyone drop a Bloodforged Crown from Chaser. So I'm curious, leave a comment if you guys have dropped a Bloodforged Crown or if you know someone who has. Because in my well over 400 layer 2 runs, I haven't seen it yet. Ooh, Light's Final Toll, first legendary of the video. Right, let's glacial our cup here. I'm going to kill some more stuff for some chests. Don't worry about parasites in this run. We, you should be able to do it quick enough that it doesn't matter. Although there is a point that we'll clear parasites pretty soon. Right, let's throw him off the edge so we don't have to deal with them. And now these guys have spawned. Let's shred them. Just a couple M1s, they should die. Now we'll just use the Warden's Blades to kill these guys off to the sides. And yep, kill him with a detonation proc. A lot of people ask why I still use detonation. I just kind of like how it looks. Plus the damage boost is very convenient for insta-gripping stuff. Now let's just kill this bounder for safety. I just prefer not to have to 2v1 them on this build, since we're already using an Ishan's ring. Right now, let's shred this bounder. And there we go. Easy kill. Ooh, ignition deep crusher, very nice. I actually haven't dropped too many of these, surprisingly. I think it's the least dropped item I have from these runs. Now going in a cave, let's quickly deal with this guy. No Instagram, sadly, but that doesn't matter. Let's claim his chest. And another light spinal toll, very nice. Two in one run isn't very bad. Alright, bound to spawn here. Already dead, before I even used ice cubes. Now we're gonna climb up here and go backwards to get to the next spawn. This is the third last chest run, and it's pretty easy to do. You only have to grip one of them to get the actual chest here. Now let's press this button, open the door, and clear our parasites on that lantern behind it. With no more parasites, let's ice skates around here, and we're going to skip Bounder's Nest. Remember, you want to be careful for invisible walls in this area, and you need to be climbing as high as possible to spawn them. That should have triggered them right there, so let's Glacial Arc up here, and we're gonna go get the last chest before Chaser. Alright, let's ice skates along here, and we're aiming for the far off tower. We're gonna go through one of the holes in the wall, just to save us some time climbing the ladder. Right, let's pop 
all of our buffs, and we're going to kill another Bone Keeper. Have that, and let's trigger everything to melt his HP. <laughs> Easy kill. This build has insane amounts of burst damage. Alright, let's climb up here, and we're actually going to head to Chaser now. The Chaser fight on this build is very easy. You're basically getting a 2 cycle no matter what, and if you do good against Chaser and don't get hit in the second phase, you can actually 2 cycle him. I was going to roll for crazy slots, just for some fun, but I didn't get lucky. It's alright, we don't need it to kill Chaser. Uh, spine cut of him, and we're going to start to break his jaws. Metal Wall is incredibly useful for this. Already got hit, but that doesn't matter. We don't need the chain stacks anyways. Stalactite attack. This one is very annoying. It seems to always hit me somehow. Right, final jar. Let's wait for him to attack. And we're gonna pop all of our buffs. Carry that. And let's shred him with our mantras. Alright, let's go. Easy chaser phase. That definitely did a ton of damage to him. Alright, let's bring some jars. We've got very good RNG on the spawn. Lost our chain stacks, but that's fine. The rest of our buffs. And kill Chaser. Missed the initial spine cutter, but we don't need that to two cycle him. We didn't burn him in this run, but that's still fine, as, yep, he's in his death phase. Anyways, yeah, this has been the ultimate layer 2 farming route on arguably the best build in the game for layer 2s, seeing as we're able to clear it in about 8 minutes with no effort. I hope you guys have enjoyed, make sure to like, subscribe for more PvE content, and of course you want to make sure to join the Discord for more giveaways in the future. Nothing good in this chaser chest, that's unfortunate. It's alright, we'll get better luck next time. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time.